Hey guys, Angus, and today I'm going to give you a, another video of me moving out. So I did a video when I actually moved in to uh, uni halls, but that was a different halls, that was St. Thomas. And I think it would be nice to just do a video of me moving out. Like, I don't think I'll do a video of me moving out of my future house. I, I might do, I don't know, and I don't think I'll do a moving in video. But, like, you know, university halls are, like, a really, really fun experience and exciting as well. Um, I'll admit my experience for halls have been very like hit and miss and sort of very like all over the place. Um, again, you know, because I moved halfway through the year in February. Um, so yeah, it's different, you know, different flatmates. All my flatmates have gone. Um, so I'm the last one in the flat and I will be moving my stuff. So I guess it does look like I'm still living here with my stuff, but I've got all this stuff to move. Um, so I've actually, um, moving out today and, um, I've got to have all my stuff because I'm actually going for a job as well. Um, I think this video as well is really going to be like an update. So usually I would do something like a channel update, but yesterday I was incredibly tired. I finished my first year of my degree. I was uh, coding a website and I kind of just literally went to sleep, um, in the daytime as soon as, as soon as I was finished. So this is really like an update as well for this is like an update for um like the channel and stuff so like while i'm walking you know I'll, I'll talk about some stuff um so yeah so it's quite funny um literally like two times in a row while like recording i've got calls so um i do apologize like if there's like random like bits missing or something like that um anyway so the video that was like interrupted was me you know coming into the kitchen um going over to the uh the house now to um to move the stuff so yeah so i'm essentially just carrying like loads of food um i'm gonna try and drag this out because i can't um <laughs> obviously i couldn't um you know hold my phone at the same time while carrying it in two hands um so yeah, luckily the uh, the place is only like five minutes away, so you know not really much of a walk. So pretty funny. As I was recording again, I I got interrupted by another call, um, and that was for a, a job that I applied. It was um, you know for a camp. Um, so yeah, I just keep I just keep on getting interrupted. It's really really odd. So finally, I'm at my. My future house. There it is number twenty. I'm not actually going to say the street number, or sorry, the, the street name, because obviously I don't rather need you as odd people just turning up at my house. I always forget what key it is. So um, I've just finished. Um, well, not well, not finished. I've dropped off one thing. Um, I've still actually got a lot of stuff to do because um, obviously my future flatmates like going back and forth and stuff. So. Um, yeah. Okay, so uh, I finally uh, got back, obviously, and um, now I'm taking second bags, and let's go. So uh, the bags I can hold in, um, what is it, one hand, so I can vlog at the same time, which is okay. Um, will be a little bit tricky, but, um, but yeah. Okay, so I'm probably on, like, my third trip now. Um, I basically got, like, this white screen, um, and I've also got... Um, you know, all, all my cutlery and stuff. Um, and then after that, it's just things like sheets and stuff and, um, yeah, a bit of noise going outside. So yeah, going back again. Okay, so I'm back yet again. And, um, it was funny, like, the one thing that I guess is like the main sign that you're leaving is when you have to take your bed sheet off. Because obviously, like, when you look into an empty room, the bed sheet's not there. And just like taking off, it like makes you realize this is like really it. Like you are actually moving out. And you know, it still does look like a bit, I mean, as I do, I've still got my computer and stuff. But you know, things like the bedding and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, I'm actually leaving at half four. Um, so yeah, it's, it's really not that long until like everything's over. It's, it's, it's crazy. I will admit, I, I would prefer if like the, the Francis Drake team, like the, the RA team, would help me move out, but you, you know, then again, they've probably got like a lot of people to help. Um, and then again, you know, they've got they've got other stuff as well. But it seems like you don't really get that much help, and I am on my own because I don't actually have my parents helping me out. Um, one's actually in the hospital, and one's in Brighton. Um, so you know, both of them are sort of like unavailable at the moment. 
Uh, so yeah, I've kind of got to like move all the stuff on my own, which is a bit tiring. And it's why I'm going like back and forth to my future house like so many times. Okay, so before I um I actually go back, I'm actually gonna start like wheeling like my suitcase and stuff. Um, so yeah, I guess that's a big part of the move is like getting like your main your main bag, and and moving that. So yeah, four thirty. I'm probably gonna upload a another video. I'll probably upload this today and probably an unboxing of some new shoes I got. Um, yeah, I, I know it's, it's, it's a bit weird, but these are my training shoes, so they're, they're really important to me and, um, you know, like people who watch my ACL series will be, will be interested in them. As you'll remember my, um, my massive red suitcase, this thing is absolutely enormous. Um, I actually took an entire desktop PC, the one that's over there actually, um, so yeah. So yeah, I guess it's kind of weird because the last time I moved out, it was, um, I think it was with my sister and my mum. So yeah, it's kind of weird when you like do it on your own, but I, I guess that's just like part of it. That's part of like uni and the way you evolve, like you kind of just start, you start like doing everything on your own, you know, that's, that's what you need to get used to doing in uni if, if you're, if you're, um, if you come to uni is, is basically just just get used to cooking your own, getting used to doing anything that your parents would do, basically. Um, you know, if, you, if you're living at home at uni, then that's different. But if you come to, if you come to halls, basically, be prepared. You know, if you, if you rely on your parents, then you're not gonna struggle, but you know, you're gonna need to adapt, definitely. Okay, so the bag is at the front of the flat. Um, now, um, I guess just getting, which is about getting the rest of the stuff, so of course I need to take down the poster and stuff. Okay, um, so now I'm gonna do yet again a another trip. Um, I basically just like got my bin and just rammed in loads of random stuff, and then I've got my Nike bag as well. Um, so yeah, um, again, I, I kind of wish I had a car, but you know, a car is such a big responsibility for uni. Like, most of the time it's unnecessary. Um, possibility that I might meet my landlords um, in my future house because apparently they're coming today but my future family says they might not turn up I don't think they will so I mean the last time I did a channel update was actually January 2016 um, and I guess I used channel updates for things like informing about um, informing about my channel but I never really used them for that kind of thing um, so I, I guess I kind of use them really for like personal updates and stuff. And for me, the, the personal update in this in this update in this in this video is um, finishing finishing my first first year of degree. Literally, what the hell? That just just went past me. Uh, okay, I kind of want to go on it, but so I don't think I've actually showed this yet. But all of my crap. Um, yeah. So this is actually like my future room. This is uh, my my flatmate's room. Um, mine is actually upstairs, but it's pretty much identical to this. Um, I think like next year you probably will see some stuff um, like around the house. Like I might do some vlogs. So you you probably will start seeing this house more. Um, the again like the structure of this room is pretty much identical. So this is what it looks like. Um, you know, it gives me a lot more space for things like filming and lighting. It's going to be good. I'm, I'm super excited. Um, you know, you can even see my stuff there. So there's my Phantom Drone box. I'm actually taking my Phantom Drone to my cousin's wedding. Um, and I'm taking it with me to my PGL job. Uh, there is actually all the stuff from my future flatmate, Emma. She's living in this room. I'm just storing it in this room because the landlord is, you know, that's what landlord wants. So, yeah. Um... So I'm probably going to do one more trip. I'm pretty exhausted, but yeah, hopefully I get back in time so I can edit this and upload it before I leave. So um, I am finally back at the uh, at my flat. Well, the one I'm moving out. Yeah, you know, I've still got things hanging up and stuff. But my room is now pretty much empty because I'm going to now edit this video. Um, and, and yeah, uh, it, was, it was quite fun, you know, filming it and, you know, moving out and stuff. You know, it's quite a big step because it's sort of like going into your own independent house where Halls is sort of like part of the uni 
So yeah, of course, if you you know found this video helpful, then you know be sure to give it a like. If you're coming to Plymouth Uni, then you know please do comment below. You know, tell me what you're studying. Uh, you can also find me on Instagram as well, um, and you can also drop me a message if you're worried about anything. Um, so yeah, if you are coming to to uni, go enjoy your summer, and um, see you in September.